Hello gorgeous Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. For this reading I'm going to be using a mixture of oracle and tarot, intuitively selected for your reading. And at the conclusion of the reading, at the end I'm going to be using the pendulum, so you can ask a specific question of spirit, a yes no answer will come from that. So let's call in your angels and guides, spirit and source energy, and we'll see what messages they would like to bring through for you for the week ahead. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how spirit speaks directly to you. So let's take a look at your first card. And it is living light energy. See the beauty in life. I'm being really drawn to the the tree which looks like the tree of life so i do think that there's going to be a change coming in your life in a big way very soon and i get a sense that you can feel it you know what this change is or you can feel that the energy is shifting in your life you're wanting to see more beautiful things in your life more positive things in your life i see your luck changing taurus if you feel that you're down on your luck at the moment, I see that your luck is changing. This is a really good omen. It's a really good sign. That's a beautiful image. Divine will. Let go of fear. Let go of any fear or negative emotions that you are harboring that might be in your subconscious or that might come out because of certain circumstances this week. Connect your will in to divine will and you will see that things will just start to flow. Synchronicities will just start to take place in your life and the puzzle pieces will fall together. Beautiful. Awaken spirit. Desire to change. This is what you can feel. You're feeling the desire to change. You know that a change is coming soon. It might be in the next week, it might be in the next month or several months ahead, but you can feel it. You can feel that the change is happening and you're ready for it. You're ready for this success. You're ready for this luck to enter your life. If you want to change, you can certainly change it. That's what this card is saying. If you want to change in your life something, then you can certainly start taking some action this week and you'll start to see some really big uh, shifts that take place very soon. And the final card for this deck of cards is shield your energy. Look beneath the surface because perhaps there is actually something or someone to protect yourself from. So shield your energy as much as you can. Put up those protective barriers. Say no. Distance yourself if you need to from someone or something in your life. Looking beneath the surface of what's really going on in a situation is going is also going on energetically this week for you. Okay, so let's take a look at this deck for you. Guidance for Taurus, please, Spirit. Guidance for Taurus. Okay, this one here I feel is your card. A Sagittarius. Success after a setback. The key word is growth. You may have a Sagittarius that's around you, significant in some way. If you have had a setback in any area of your life recently, this card is for you. There will be success. There will be success. You're not expecting it because you've had a setback recently. There is room for growth. There is room for momentum forward, and that's what I'm seeing here. Beautiful really positive message there especially if you have had a setback believe in yourself and the key word is courage moon in Aries so you may have an Aries that's significant in your life perhaps believe in yourself believe in yourself Taurus you've got this you've got the courage you've really got this you don't have to doubt yourself you don't have to doubt yourself at all you will feel a surge of courage and confidence this week scale mountains to gain a sense of achievement moon in capricorn accomplishment 
if you set your mind to something, you'll be able to accomplish it this week. Even small tasks, things that you've been putting off, you're going to have some sense of accomplishment. And in the larger scheme of things, this card means that you're going to overcome challenges. You're going to overcome um, big challenges and dilemmas. You're going to scale the mountain. You're going to achieve success and you're going to have an accomplishment. And your final card from this deck is Aries. So you have two Aries. So there definitely is an Aries in someone's life here. Collaboration. Boost relationships through teamwork and compromise. So you're working together with others. Hand in hand working with another person or with others. Teamwork, collaboration is going to be very useful and you're going to be involved in relationships in this way. Some type of compromise or some type of teamwork. Okay, let's see what this deck reveals for you. Guidance for Taurus, please, Spirit. Guidance for Taurus. The Chariot. So the Chariot is actually Cancer's card. So you may have a Cancer in your chart significantly, or maybe someone that you are interacting with, someone that you'll have an important conversation with, someone in your life is a, is a Cancer. Charge ahead with confidence, stay strong and focused. So that really, that really ties into this card here of courage and believing in yourself. Stay strong, stay focused. Charge ahead with confidence. You've got this. The devil is Capricorn's card, so you may have a Capricorn in your life, perhaps. The devil, take care immediately to avoid temptation and deceit. So this is important to remember if you do feel tempted into old habits or negative things, things that do not serve you well. Take care, be caution. This is a cautionary card. Birth. Universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility. So this is a rebirth or a renewal, a new thing. A new thing is coming into your life this week or very soon. Flowers. Be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. I'm seeing this as what you will be able to ultimately achieve. Perhaps it will take a bit of time to play out, but you will have fulfillment and you will have success in what you set your mind to. It might be a career thing. It might be relationship with others. It might be a hobby or an interest or a passion that you have. But whatever this is for you, you will have emotional fulfillment as well as material success. And let's see, your final oracle card or deck. Guidance for Taurus, please, spirit. Guidance for Taurus. Let's see. Angel of travel. So you have travel on your mind or you're planning it perhaps. You'll know how, th how this resonates for you. You're getting ready to travel. Now, it might be literal travel, of course. It might also be more metaphorical, where you're, where you're ready to go on a journey. You're preparing yourself, or you're in the midst of a journey uh, in a relationship, for example. Okay, so place that energy in your life where it fits. The Angel of Strength. Yes, you have, you have strength, you have fortitude. You know, you will overcome this temptation, uh, this deceit, this devil energy. You've got this, you have the strength and fortitude. You're going to overcome the mountain and you have angelic support helping you climb to the top of the mountain that was symbolic in an earlier card for you, which is overcoming the troubles and an overwhelming sense of difficulty. 
you have angelic help helping you to the top. The Angel of Clairvoyance. You are clairvoyant. You are psychic in some way. You might be just learning to tap into your and tune in to your intuition or to your psychic abilities or you may be a veteran okay but wherever you are on the journey there's a strong energy of support angelically and spiritually in your development especially with clairvoyance over the next week the angel of stress this is about releasing stress this is about releasing it to the universe giving it away you don't need to hold it on your heart anymore you can release it you can release the stress but it's a choice okay that's the thing it's a choice let's see what the tarot is going to reveal for you Taurus this week guidance for Taurus please spirit guidance for Taurus The world there is a completion a completion a finalization there is something coming to a conclusion there is a wholeness that you see or that you are seeking the world can also indicate travel or you're on that journey to the next phase the next step you go is going to become a lot clearer in an area of your life if you are feeling confused about that next step it's going to become clear very soon the Three of Cups. This is usually a very positive card. It usually indicates that you're going to have great relationships. Heartfelt connections are going to grow stronger, especially in friendships. Someone may reach out to you, an old friend may reach out to you perhaps. This card can also indicate for some that there's a third party situation in a relationship. Okay, so you'll know if that resonates for you or not. The Four of Wands. This is a great card as well. This is about celebration and engagement and marriage. It can mean that you've gotten to a certain level of success and you're, you're taking some rest and you're patting yourself on the back and you're getting ready for that next phase, for that next, for that next journey. It also represents the home. And so there is a focus or there's something going on in the home environment. The three of wands can also indicate travel. It does mean that you're waiting for your ships to come in. You've planted seeds in the past and you're waiting for it to bloom. You're waiting for it to mature. You're waiting for uh, the abundance that you've been meaning to create to enter your life. It's an expansion as well. So you're expanding in your horizons in some way this week. Beautiful. Okay, so that concludes your cards for the week. Let's take a look at your pendulum reading. So you can think of that question now that you would like answered with a yes, no response. So think of that question now. Hold it in the forefront of your mind. And the answer is maybe. So what this means is that it's not set in stone yet. So that's a good thing because it means that your actions, choices and decisions can actually change the outcome. And if another person is involved, then their actions, choices and decisions can also change the outcome. So it is not set in stone, the answer to that question. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. It's been wonderful to read for you today. 
Stay blessed, take care, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.